Okay, so if you saw the last video, I have all this leftover brisket. So we're gonna make some brisket leftover tortas. All right, so escabiche. This stuff is basically pickles, that's all it is. In here, we've got carrot, chopped up onion, some chopped up jalapeno, and garlic clove. Now, all you gotta do is make your pickling liquid with apple cider vinegar, some sambal, that's the rooster sauce, sugar to taste, salt to taste. Bring that up to a boil, make sure it's really hot, and then just pour it into your container of choice with all your chopped up veg, and then just let this sit for about a day in the fridge. This is gonna be a great addition to the torta. If you've been watching my vlog, I made brisket, so I have a bunch of leftover brisket. I'm gonna go ahead and just shave this nice and thin, cut this thin, sear it off on a cast iron skillet with a touch of oil, render out that beef fat, and it's gonna have a beautiful crust. This is gonna be the main in our torta. For the sauce, I'm using the barbecue sauce from the brisket vlog that I just filmed earlier. Recipe for this will be down below, and it's also in the vlog. So, I'm gonna take some mayo, about a half cup of mayo, and then about a half cup of the Texas barbecue sauce. Then we're just gonna mix that up, and there you go, we've got barbecue mayo. Mm. Now for the bread, I'm gonna use bolillos for this torta. You can find bolillos at pretty much any grocery store. It's just this bread right here. We're gonna toast this up really nice. Toast it up with a little bit of butter and a cast iron skillet, and there you go. I also have a recipe for brioche burger buns on my channel if you wanna check that out and use that instead. All right, let's go ahead and try this thing, huh? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just yes. That's delicious. That's money. You got super rich, fatty brisket with the escabiche and the acidity that cuts through with that nice spice going through there. And then the sweetness from the barbecue sauce mayo. It's perfect, it's great. Try this out. Let me know what you think. You can even use my brioche bun recipe. That would be delicious too. This would be good with some avocado. I just didn't have any, but try that out as well. Go ahead and share your creations. Tag me in Spiceology and all the things you make. We'll share your stories and I'll see you in the next one.